Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And we are ready. So your energies, Page of Cups, Hierophant, Tower, King of Wands in reverse, your person's energies, Two of Wands in reverse, and Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Strength card in reverse, Meeting energies, Two of Cups in reverse, The Emperor, Queen of Wands, Match for the King, Seven of Wands in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, our focus, the Lovers in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, bottom of the deck. No more pleasure in favor of this connection, guys. There can be commitment issues involved. And this can become a deal breaker for some of you. Because it is fair to say that this person can be important for you guys, but it's like some of you can realize that they are not willing to do whatever it takes in favor of the connection. They are basically refusing to fulfill the two of one's energy as a soulful decision, which can be a decision about commitment even about the chance to get married, they are buying some time, the Three of Wands, which is a standby. They are not apologizing for that, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Strength card in reverse. This person is not someone that can display the powerful virtue of patience. They can be a passionate lover, for example, but when it comes to the divine alchemy of a connection, they are not able to do that. They cannot handle themselves. That's why there can be a price to pay for this connection. Intuition. Some of you can start to smell troubles, guys. Time. Time factor expression, which can be an honest conversation. Uh, the lovers as our focus in reverse. We are basically avoiding a heart over head decision. This person is doing that. Passionate connection, but heart is not uh, Put a center of the stage, you know? And some of you can be disappointed with that. The Seven of Wands in reverse also describes an open exchange because this person can talk about commitment or future plans for the connection. The point is that what they can say to you can be something completely different from what maybe you are expecting in favor of the relationship. Balancing act. Details, details. And talisman, which is a lucky break. The tower can be a blessing in disguise, but it is still a challenging energy, guys. And so, you know. Considering the picture of the talisman oracle card, the lady is with a sheet on her. The sexual side of this connection can be on point, but um, you can be aware of the fact that we need more for a connection to be successful. Addiction. This person cannot 
handle themselves, maybe they think that your connection is amazing only because of the sexual side, but, you know, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling as a block restraint, the emperor can be a bossy figure, this can be a controlling partner. Mask, not showing true feelings, you can say that to this person, you can say that um, they can be with you only because the two of you get along uh, well uh, in the bedroom. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Uh, we have to be careful with these keywords. Healing heart, guys. I think that uh, it can be meaningful. And so um, I have to say, guys, that the King of Wands in reverse can describe the fact that it can be clear to you, if you resonate with the Queen of Wands, that your counterpart is not able to take action properly in favor of your connection, of your relationship, in order to allow the situation to become more structured. You can have, let's say, a legitimate desire uh, to manifest the Hierophant energy into reality. So, a structured connection, even a marriage, uh, strong foundations, two pillars, you know, um, two partners that know what they have to do in favor of the connection in order to achieve positive results. It's possible that some of you have already received multiple apologies, you know, I am sorry is coming from your person and you can be quite tired of that. The Page of Cups, lovely energy, yes, but super simple. The tower is, at the very least, starting to shake more and more, but it can fall apart all of a sudden. This person is too passive when it comes to the opportunity to make a decision in favor of the connection. Instead, they can be way too active when it comes to the sexual side of your connection. Overall, they cannot fulfill a due diligence aimed at the opportunity to figure out details, details, how to work with you, balancing act, for the best possible interest of the connection. The Queen of Cups in reverse can describe the realization that some of you can basically achieve about the connection and a realization that can be described by the Two of Cups energy in reverse. So it's like we can understand that the situation is not a real chance to grow together with a special person. And that's why even some of you guys will have to summon the Emperor energy when it comes to the opportunity to take action. You know, you will have to transform into action a plan uh, if you are not satisfied with the connection. So what about your person? Uh, they can be focused on different things. The Three of Wands. Or maybe their expectations uh, are not the same when it comes to the future of the relationship. Five of Swords, ego driven energy, guys. The man in green and red can be left behind, the bearer of the Three of Swords energy. Clouded interactions. This person can be available to talk with you about commitment, you know, or about the chance to get married, for example. But what they can say to you can be extremely confusionary. And so it's like you cannot understand them. They want you, but they do not want to allow the connection to become something more complex, uh, something deeper, you know? And mm, I have to say that this can puzzle you guys. Eight of ones in reverse. This is an energy about communication. In reverse, for me, it's like this person cannot make a point clear and it's like their explanations do not make sense. 
at some point also even intimacy is going to be off the table guys and they can be upset with that because of course they have been enjoying your connection from that perspective two of swords in reverse just like the two of wands they do not want to make a choice about the progression of the relationship that's why the choice can be made by some of you whether this person likes that or not the empress much for the emperor so you can pick the energy that can resonate with you the most the couple can be um, good on paper or in particular when it comes to the sexual side of the connection but at the end of the day the one that is hoping for a progression, a healthy development, if they realize that this is not a real option, they are going to call off the connection. It seems that some of you guys can do that. So if your person is the emperor, they are going to receive the empress verdict, basically. What about you? Ace of Swords, here we go. Let's talk about a verdict. Truth and clarity. For ones in reverse, commitment issues, guys. It's like um, an old fashioned marriage is not an option or the chance to build a family is not an option because this person is thinking about something different. Knight of Pentacles, you have been waiting for this energy. That's why I usually say that the Knight of Pentacles is not only a potential prince or princess valiant, someone that we can count on, someone reliable and trustworthy. The energy, because the knight is the slowest of the four, the energy can become even the offer that never comes. And this person seems to be way too stuck in themselves or in their mind, in their ego even, um, to understand that if the connection ends, tower moment, it's because of their lack of understanding, you know, about what a connection truly needs to be successful. Let's go for the meeting, guys. Death card in reverse. Um, we are not there to the moment that can basically change everything yet. This person can also ask you guys to avoid um, the decision to go away, but it seems difficult. At the same time, we can say that the death card in reverse can be even a resistance uh, to change what can be necessary to change for the best possible interest of a connection. And if there was or if there is someone that can be reluctant to change is this person because of the five of swords. Everything you can do, I can do it better. I know all the answers. It's an egotistical mentality. A mindset that is not positive for a connection. And you can call it out, basically, considering the Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles. An energy about commitment, guys. You have been together, but it seems that some of you have been nurturing in a legitimate way an aspiration in favor of something more. But if this person is not able to understand you or available to truly work with you in order to manifest a higher level of commitment, it means that they are giving a whole different level of importance to the connection and maybe you do not like that. That's why the Ten of Swords can kick in, basically following the tower, guys. It's just a matter of time. Your intuition can kick in. Truth and clarity 
coming from the Ace of Swords expression. The conversation is not going to be pleasant, guys, but it seems to be inevitable. And this person can be left behind. For some of you, it can be a rite of passage. I will not try to sugarcoat the Ten of Swords or the Tower. But what's the alternative? Uh, some of you will have to evaluate that the potential alternative can be the one to stay in a connection that is not positive for you because every day you have to pretend that everything is fine when it's not. And the decision to do so, it's like a conscious decision to avoid to honor our heart, which is something that we should um, carefully avoid to do. Instead, you will have to listen to your heart because it can guide your words, even if there can be the necessity to leave this person behind. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.